Hi there, in this video we are going to set the defaults for the swatches in Adobe Illustrator. We'll also set the default font, get rid of Myriad, 12 point, okay, we'll change everything we need to, we'll even turn off that pesky hyphenation. All right, let's go and do that now in Illustrator. All right, first up, it can be a pain. I'm using uh, Illustrator, it's called Illustrator 22, right? Um, under Illustrator About, this is version 22. Okay, it's uh, also called CC 2018. It should work for everything for this version and up. Uh, earlier versions, you might, there's it gets really tricky. So um, if it doesn't work for you, you might have to go and search the net and the, it gets complicated. Okay, and for us though, it's partially complicated, not that hard. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, um, at this welcome screen, we're gonna go to create a new document. And basically what we need to do is, we can't just do it for the whole program, we need to do it for print, for web, and for mobile. So basically for me, I do most of my stuff in print and web. Okay, so you just need to change these two defaults. So we'll do print. So in print, what we need to do is go to this more settings option down the bottom here. Okay, and once that opens, we need to go to where it says profile, drop that down. We want to go to the one that says browse. And really what we're just doing here is we're just locating where these things are kept, okay? Because on a PC and Mac, they're different. So if I drop this down, it tells me this is where the profiles are kept. So we need to dig this out. That's the hard bit, okay? Adjusting the fonts and swatches is easy. Okay, so you can get lost. There's a couple of versions of library. Um, so there's a library down at this level. So you need to really make sure. So maybe take a screenshot of this now, or for your, if you're using a PC, take a screenshot of your screen. Okay, and just notice you've got to go here, 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 all the way through to this. Cool, so I'll show you how to get there. Okay, so I'm gonna close that down. That's basically what we use that for. And um, I'm gonna go into Finder here and show you how to find it. So go to any folder, okay, documents, desktop, doesn't matter. And if you hold down the command key and click on this, um, you, whatever it says at the top, it kind of tells you where you are in the world. So we're partially way there, right? We're in HD, we're in users, we're in my name, and we're in documents. But I wanna go to this one here, and there should be a folder in here called library, okay? Problem is, is that it uh, Max like to hide that from you. You gotta go and change permissions and stuff, and you don't wanna do that. The sneaky trick is, I'm in Finder, okay? Go up to go, hold down the option key. I'm on a Mac, you can see if I just toggle it on and off, okay, library just appears, okay? It's a little sneaky trick to get him. So I'm in the right place now, okay? I'm in library, now we're gonna follow the rest of that. And it was application support, it was Adobe, and we're up to version 22, you might be in a later version, okay, for whatever that version yours is. The highest number is gonna be the one. I'm using English, US, and we're trying to find, um, we're gonna do this one and this one. Basically, we're gonna go and change these and resave them. You can go off and do that now. But together, I'll show you the long way. You can see there are our kind of profiles. I'm gonna open up print. Cool, and in here what I'd like to do is anything you change in here, well most of the things you change in here will now be your default. Okay, if you want your default for, uh, fill color and stroke color to be different, you could say actually I want that from now on whenever I make a new document. Um, the big one you came for is font. Okay, I'm gonna click once and Myriad Pro. Okay, I'm gonna change it to something else. You can change it to anything. If you've been following along in this course, I love the old Musio. Okay, I'm gonna use that. And probably when I'm working, I use 10 point a lot more. Now I wanna go and change a lot of other things, but as a trainer, I really need to keep everything by default. So I'm just gonna save myself some time now by not changing too much. So you're only halfway there, right? So you've changed the fonts and go to window, go to type and go to character styles. And basically this is the kind of default character style for whenever you type anything new. And you can see it's got a little plus there to say you've adjusted it, okay? And all you need to do is go to this burger menu, Redefine character style, that plus goes away. And if I save this document now, um, let's do it. Okay, delete that guy, save it, close it, file, new, are you ready? It's gonna get cool, print. Uh, any of these, okay, it covers anything under print. Um, so I'm gonna use this, click create, grab my type tool, click once. Ha, ah, it's Musio Sans, it's 10 point, hey. Um, a Couple of things, other things we wanna change. Okay, I'm gonna close that down. Other little shortcut, 
while I'm here. Okay, if you get this window here, if you hold down on a Mac, this is Mac only, unfortunately, PC people, hold down the command key and click the first letter of S, C, or D, it's the shortcut. I hit D for don't save. I don't know why I like that shortcut. Um, I've still got print there. You can go to file, open recent, same one. Okay, and I'm going to change a few other things. Hyphenation, goodbye, buddy. Drag out a box, it hyphenates by default. Okay, so I'm going to go to my paragraph window. So under window type, we're gonna open up paragraph and I'm gonna say hyphenate, don't do it by default. <laughs> Weirdly, the box that I drew is like the first box ever that doesn't hyphenate. Let's change it, there it is, hyphenation. Turn it off and what we need to do now is adjust, very similar, the paragraph styles. So there's a normal paragraph style, I say redefine style, and that will be off by default. I'm not doing mine now just because I know it works. You know, you've seen it work uh, uh, for character styles, but because I'm a trainer, I have to kind of keep everything, everything the same as yours. And um, other things you can do here is you can do your swatches in this window. Okay, so in here, I'm gonna delete that. Um, what I'll do is I'll leave hyphenation on. Um, and let's go to our swatches panel. So window, let's go to swatches, and you might just bin everything, okay, and just have black, white, and maybe a few colors, maybe some brand colors that you're using, okay? You can import colors from logos here. Um, all you need to really do is make sure that your swatches panel is how you want it. Let's say that you don't use this fantastic uh, fill, okay, pattern swatch. You can go into here, I'm gonna delete it forever. Okay, I'm gonna make a new swatch. First of all, I'm going to pick a color and then I'm going to add it as a swatch. Give it a name. I'm going to turn mine off not being global and not in my library just because I just want it to be a basic swatch. Now, if I save this document, close it, let's go to new document window, anything under print, um, click create, A4 even. You can see there's my cool swatches. Okay, that one's gone and that one's there now. Um, it doesn't backdate. Okay, so it doesn't go back to old documents and adjust the swatches. That's a really personal thing in Illustrator where these swatches are attached to the AI file kind of embedded in there. But anything new that can be changed. Um, that's true of type as well. So any new documents will be the museo, but any previous document, that kind of character style is stuck in there. So yeah, old documents, boo, but new documents, yay. All right, friends, that is how to reset your default font and swatches in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get on to the next video.